Hey everybody, Ann here. I was just sitting here drinking my coffee, freezing cold this morning, freezing cold. Um, it was like 37 degrees outside. It was like 46, 47 inside, so not too bad, but I started a fire. I'm going to like throw up a picture in picture so you can see. It's beautiful, beautiful in my wood-burning stove. But just seconds ago, uh, the dog started barking. A big truck pulled up. It was a FedEx truck, and this is what they dropped off. Look at you guys. It's the 23 quart uh, Presto pressure canner and it's got a little gauge thing and a little weighty thing and um, this is the one that Mary uh, on my channel that sends me the the uh, shelf stable meats um, recommended. I, I thought maybe a smaller one but no she says this is the better one so um, I'm going to open it up. I, I am just so so thrilled. I'm going to use my little thing even though I already knew what it was on the outside. Um, and these gloves help me grip a little bit better. Oh my gosh, you guys. I can't freaking believe this. I'm so excited. So excited. Oops, here, let me get this. There it is. There it is, you guys. It's all its glory. I wish I brought my tripod inside. I'm just going to take this out of the box and then show you each and every part, even though you probably know what's in it. Uh, this is my first one that I've had like this, so I'm going to take it out. Take it out and show it to you. Look how big it is. It is absolutely huge. Okay, I got it right in front of me and comes with a like an, an instruction manual and it's probably got some recipes in there. Um, this is the little uh, weight. I think this one only does like 15 pounds. You just put it on the top on the little thing. I'll show you in a minute. Um, it comes with a pressure gauge and it reads all the way from 0 to 20 pressure um, and that just drops down into the top of it. Um, it comes with one of these racks. Now I had another smaller uh, another smaller one that um, I thought well maybe I could use the rack for that but no this is like two times as big as it. Look at that. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Um, what else? Caution stuff. Important stuff to read. All of that. Um, okay, let's get to the canner. Here's the lid. Look at that. It's so big and shiny. And look at the size of this pot. I didn't think it was going to be this big, but it is. It's huge. Oh, I'm going to be able to fit so much stuff in there. I just, oh, I am thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled. Um, okay, so I'm going to see if I can get this put together and show you it. Oh, and I forgot to tell you, it comes with a seal. Um, so that will seal it up really super good. Okay, at first I had a little trouble figuring out how to close this thing. But it tells you right here, um, there's a little arrow here. And you line, um, you line it up with this here, and then it easily opens and closes. So I'm going to just shift it this way a little bit to show you how it does it. Okay, that's lined up. Then all you got to do is squeeze it closed, and it's closed. Then this little thing just goes right there. And I'm going to have to read the instructions. I think that bolt on the bottom there needs to come off. And then you put the top down in and screw it in tight from underneath. All right, learning about the different parts. This is the little, I think they call it a vent lock. Yes, air vent cover lock. And it goes up and down when it starts getting pressure to it. I think it says 15 pounds or something. So that goes up and down. This little thing here, it's a little rubber plug thing. And it is the overpressure plug. Uh, it says the black rubber overpressure plug is located in the canner cover. It will automatically pop out and release steam in case the vent pipe becomes blocked and pressure cannot be released normally through the vent pipe. So that's another safety feature. Next, it wants me to remove this washer, um, no, this bolt, this washer, and this gasket, and then I put this down through and reassemble it. There we go. The little white gasket fits inside the hole. Then comes the washer. And then all you got to do is just tighten this baby up. I really need to hold on to the other piece to get it to be tight enough. It may be hard to see, but I got it on. I don't know if it's tight enough. I mean, this will still turn. I may need to tighten it a little bit. Got the little 
rocker thingy on there and then it gives instructions to it says helpful hint to help yourself understand the operation of the pressure canner for uh pour four cups of water into the canner and follow the step-by-step -step instructions beginning with step 7 through 15 um i'm sure they're they're in this book here for actual usage of the canner follow the complete instructions um I'm betting that it just has something to do, like a mock run, like you're doing a mock run, so that, that is definitely something I'm going to do. I don't know if I'll do it today. Oh gosh, you know what? I, I think I want to do it today. I totally want to do it today! And I need to tell you who got it for me. It was my parents. My parents sent it to me. They got it off my wish list, and it is here. I can't believe it came so fast. I just cannot believe it. So thank you, Mom and Dad, so much. This is going to make a huge difference on this homestead. I think it's an, an essential part of a homestead. Everybody should have a pressure canner. And you know what? I don't think you need to get one of those really super-duper expensive ones um, like the All-American. I mean, those are great, uh, uh, sure. But this is going to suit my needs perfectly. Um, it came recommended by, well, Mary and some other people who have used these canners in the past, and they just work really great. And it doubles as a water bath canner, too, so I can use it for both purposes. Oh, my gosh. I am just so excited. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. I love you. Okay, I have been reading these instructions. I have read the entire book, and I've decided I'm going to give it a test run. Um, I haven't even combed my hair. I just pulled it back in a rubber band. So I am going to uh, do a test run. First thing it says is pour four cups of water into the canner. Done. I have lined the little V's up, and now I'm just going to... Oh, this is actually hard to do. i got to do, do it with two hands. It's locked into place. All right, and this is important. It says, caution, do not use on any outdoor LP gas burner or gas range over 12,000 BTUs. Luckily, this little cooktop that I've got, that I've only got one burner that's still working, it's kind of falling apart. Um, but good news is, is somebody... Somebody's bringing me another one. They found a really good deal um, at Walmart for like $17 for one of these. Brand new, so I'm going to be changing this one out. And the thing is, is that each of these burners only burn at 10,000 BTUs, so I'm going to be golden with this, this little range thing. And hopefully this one burner won't give up on me while I'm doing this test. Okay, so what's the next step? It says, using a high setting, heat the pressure canner until a steady flow of steam can be seen, heard, or felt coming from the vent. Exhaust air from the canner for 10 minutes. Okay, so i got to turn this baby on. Okay, it's on. It's on high, so I'm just going to start watching what it does. And the next step is I have to wait until it starts steaming and then let it steam for 10 minutes, and then I do the next thing. Really hard to see, but... It's going. It is a, it looks like a steady stream, right? I may even have to reduce the heat a little bit. Yeah, I'm going to reduce the heat. Hard to see, but I've reduced the heat to about that. I think that's about medium, honestly, because it was just really, really sputtering really, really fast up here. I don't know. You guys tell me, is that, gosh, it's so hard to see. Is that the way it's supposed to look when it's going for its 10 minutes? Or is that too much? I'm just going to leave it at this for right now um, until the 10 minutes are up and then we'll go to the next part. The 10 minutes are up so I'm going to place this on the little thingy. <laughs> Hopefully I don't burn myself, right? Okay, that wasn't so scary. Place the pressure regulator on the vent pipe. I've done it. If heat was reduced for exhausting, adjust to a relatively high heat setting and heat canner. As the pressure develops in the canner, the air vent cover lock will lift and lock the cover on the canner. Okay guys, I increased the heat just a little bit and that uh, little thing right there immediately came up. So now this little dial, I'm sorry the light is so bad, but that little dial should start going up. Look you guys, it's moving. The little dial is beginning to move. Oh, this is working perfectly. I was so worried that this little gauge thing, the little dial thing, was going to be defective um, because sometimes they are and they'll, they'll send you a new one, but it is moving on up, guys. 
I'm going to try and get it to 11 pounds pressure and keep it that way for, I mean, not the whole processing time, but just for a little while to see what I need to do with the burner to keep it at that pressure. And um, because to can chicken, duck, goose, and even rabbit, you process the rabbit beforehand a little bit differently. But um, it says to get it at 11 pounds pressure at my altitude and, um, you know, you process it for a various amount of like 65 minutes to 90 minutes just depending on um, pites, quartz, bones, with bones, without bones. Um, same thing for rabbit and you just soak the rabbit for like an hour in some um, brine. Okay, so the pressure is going up you guys. It's up to 10. It's getting over 10. I think I'm going to have to reduce the heat a little bit. We're just going to let it go for a little bit longer. And so that I can see how I need to adjust the burner to be able to maintain the right pressure. I have got it down to just as low as I can get it without it going out, so hopefully that'll do the trick. Look at that. Perfect. All right, I'm going to see how long I can maintain it there without having to do anything. Whoops, it's dropping down below 11, so I have to increase the heat just a little bit. I'll get it, I'll get it. Back up to 11, and the flame is... I'm just going to have to watch it pretty closely um, and just make sure that I've got it at the right level to keep the right pressure. Since the pressure is at 11, it's being maintained at 11, this would be the point at which I would start timing my stuff that I'm canning for however long. Um, so I'm just going to let it go for a little while and see how long it takes just to keep it at the right pressure and or not how long but how hard it is just for a few more minutes and then I'm going to shut her down let it cool off. I want to see what it looks like when the little rocker thing starts rocking. This should start rocking at any moment now. Oh my gosh it's, this is thrilling for me. This is totally thrilling. Okay the gauge says 15 but the rocker is not rocking. Come on baby. Any minute now. No, it is! That is pretty gosh darn accurate. Just almost at the same time it hit 15 on the gauge, this thing starts rocking. And um, I looked on their website, and this is what the little rocker weight thingy, whatever you call it, um, needs to look like for a steady, slow rocking movement. This is cool! I'm just going to turn the propane off and let it cool down. Sorry, I don't have my light flashing on it. And I'm just going to follow the next instructions. And it basically says just let it cool down until no more steam is coming out of there. Whoops, <laughs> I touched the can. Uh, when, that, when that little thing goes down there, um, then I can take that little thing off and... Um, when it stops steaming and cools down completely, it's safe to remove the lid. Everything is calmed down. I'm going to take this off. There's no more steam coming out of it, so I'm going to take the lid off. Everything worked perfectly, and I am actually surprised to see that there is still water down in there. So I'm going to empty this out, dry it out, and store it like the book says um, after it's completely dried with the lid inverted like that. And, uh... Just start planning my first canning adventure. Needless to say, I am thrilled. It all went well. I have confidence I'm going to be able to do this. Thank you so much, Mom and Dad. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.